listen about all the fabulous things that you guys do. And primarily, I get to hear it every month. For you guys, it's three times a year. And it seems like forever before I get to you guys, but I cannot force you to look like this every month. This is pretty squishy. This is pretty tight. But it is also one of my proudest moments to look out at all of you and see everybody sitting here together. We don't ever get to be together like this. So this is a very, very nice, nice moment for me. That being said, we do have a lot of things going on today. I've got people waiting to go on field trips. I've got all this stuff going on, so we're gonna have to get through this a little quicker. So part of the thing that we need to do, and I ask this every single time, is when I call the teachers up and they call their students, we're not clapping for every student. We have to wait and do it at the end. Otherwise, we're gonna stretch our time out. And you'll get, well, I get sore because I'm old, but you'll get sore sitting on the floor crisscross like that for so long, okay? So that being said, we're gonna hold our applause until the end of each grade level. Does that make sense? <laughs> I do have a job for you, though. Here's your job. I need you to listen. And listen purposefully, not just listen to the words and listen to people talking and look nice and pretty sitting there, but listen to what's being said about these students. Listen, hear their accomplishments. Hear what your friends have done. These are the things that make us be better people. I always listen about the accomplishments of others and think to myself, how can I incorporate that into myself? What can I do to better myself learning from others. I want you to listen and after the grade levels we go we'll talk a little bit about what you heard and what are the things that we could do to improve upon ourselves. There's always room for improvement. I'm near perfect I know that but there's lots of room for improvement for the rest of you. <laughs> that being said we're going to go ahead and start. We're going to bring fifth grade up first and we're going to go a little out of order so fifth grade come on up. Listen, listen about what our friends have done. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Parents, thanks so much for coming. We appreciate it. Um, the following students are being recognized for understanding fifth grade science standards, which is not easy to do. John, Nishka, and Natalie.
that you've studied and share it with others. That's a big task. In fifth grade, I know that that was a big task for you with your fifth grade state reports. And I've heard lots of comments about your presentations and how well you did and the bravery that was behind that. So nice job. I also heard a lot of you in your growth this year. The expectation is you grow a grade level, right? You, you, you're in a grade, you, you grow a grade, right? You get smarter by a grade. When I hear kids going two and three grade levels at a time, you're gonna put us out of the job. That means you're out of here a lot sooner than we want you to be, but that's okay. That just means you're working extra hard to make that happen, and that's an awesome thing. So nice job, fifth grade, really nice job. I liked hearing those things. Sixth grade, where are you? Why don't you come up? Uh, and the following students are being recognized for outstanding academic achievement across the board, all subject matter. Brad, Shamil, Claire, 